so crazy. Virtual reality technology has ability to affect an individual's reaction, and it purports to immerse its users in novel experiences. It is a new communication platform that users can feel truly present, and the infinite experience can be shared with people in their life via the use of this technology. Virtual reality is reputable and widely recognized for its gaming purpose. Not many have realized the fact that this technology has potentials in areas other than just entertainment. One of the areas in which virtual reality can be useful is news presentation. Today, the majority of news presentation relies on photos and videos, so that news content can be manipulated with false stories, and some parts can be omitted depending on what news agency want their audience to consume. On the other hand, 360 live virtual reality completely captures the whole scene situation, and nothing can be manipulated or omitted. It will show what's going on in the real world. It has the potential to present the events to people as they actually occur, so the audience can see the entire scene of the situation presented accurately. And these potentials allow virtual reality to change the way audience receives news content. And I think that that really does change uh, the way that you can perceive things. If you're talking about a war zone, if you're talking about a uh, political debate, if you're talking about some kind of rally, knowing what is actually happening in that scene, as opposed to what a person is able to capture or the story they want to capture through the frame of a camera. This is from the interview of Palmer Lucky, who found Oculus Rift, and a former journalism student discussed the possibility of virtual reality in news presentation. There are two types of virtual reality in news presentation. The first one is the use of immersive graphics. Developers will create 3D immersive graphics to tell the story instead of shooting in real situation. The presentation of the news via immersive graphics is intended to simulate a particular event along with the creation of the audience avatar so that they can be a part of the virtual situation. However, immersive virtual reality requires very much money and it takes a great deal of time to create. So it may be a challenge to the fact that news is to be fresh and up-to-date. So this type of virtual reality news presentation is not popularized. The second type of virtual reality news presentation is the coverage with 360-degree virtual reality. One of the most significant examples it's when the big news agency, USA Today, produced a live 360 virtual reality news of the Democratic debates in 2016 and the US presidential integration in 2017. We will make America wealthy again. We will make America proud again. We will make America safe again. And yes, together, we will make America great again. People in different places around the world were able to be a part of those events. So this can reduce the problem of production budget and the delay of news content because this 360-degree news presentation can be reported live. Meanwhile, there is some caution about people rushing into live virtual reality without thinking about the editorial value. The 360 live is the thing that people get too excited about and it makes them completely forget about the actual format.
That is why the content is still the most important thing that leads experimentation continues at the high end of the virtual reality. To ensure that new technology and techniques such as virtual embodiment can transfer from the labs to the newsroom in the longer term. In contrast, the great example of the dynamic 360 virtual reality content is an ability to invoke audiences' emotion and feelings by providing the compassionate content. For instance, Chris Mill stated on TED Talk that he had created Clouds Over Sidra, a mini documentary following a 12 year old Syrian refugee who can be deeply connected by people from all over the world as she is facing terrible situations. Under the concept that virtual reality is the ultimate empathy machine. So, when you're inside of the headset watching her, you're not watching it through a television screen, you're not watching it through a window, you're sitting there with her. When you look down, you're sitting on the same ground that she's sitting on. And because of that, you feel her humanity in a deeper way. You empathize with her in a deeper way. And I think that we can change minds with this machine. This 360 virtual reality presentation is a phenomenon that directly affects audiences' mentality. Oh, you're crying. You're crying. Gina, you're crying. Later on, several news agencies started using virtual reality to report the same kind of intense situations. For example, Syrian news agency has published 360 virtual reality that allows viewers to see one city in Syria that had been the site of ongoing bombing and fighting as it had been engulfed in civil war for four years. In the future, virtual reality could be giving more opportunities to present a wider variety of news contents. Not only does the technology help influence the emotions and feelings of the audience, but it can also make the news more interesting and attractive for the consumer of the new generations. More people will feel like watching the news even when the content is serious and intense, as well as increase the value of the news itself.